Hello everyone, I hope everybody's doing well out there today. I want to make a quick little video about some solar upgrades that I'm going to be doing when I get back to the Philippines to our solar systems that we have there. Systems, two, two different systems. Explain it in just a second. And for you that don't know or you're new to the channel, um, I built an off-grid system over there. I'm not connected to the power company there. We're in a subdivision. We're building a beach house home. We have an apartment there and at the property now that we're staying in while we complete the house. But we are not connected to the grid. So I built the full solar system there with a large battery bank, large solar array, and two inverters running parallel. Gives me some redundancy, gives me extra power. But there are improvements that still need to be made. This is a 12 volt to 3000 watt inverter right here. This is a really great inverter. I've had it for years. I've had a lot of loads on it. I've never had a problem with this whatsoever. And it is a true 3000 watt. It has two 15 amp breakers here on the end. You've got your power meter and your own off. And it has a very sizable fan here on it. And as you see, huge heat sinks. Now this is not one of those where they advertise it, you know, to be 3,000 watts or 10,000 watts and on, you know, and really it's like 500 watts. This is a true 3,000 watt unit right here. And the reason I'm sending this inverter over there, even though this is not the Philippine voltage, is because sometimes there's going to be things that I'm going to bring from the United States that uses the North American voltage, not the Philippine voltage, that I may want to use over there. One of those things, as I explained yesterday in the video, is some good power tools I have here. I have many duplicates of, and instead of buying more tools there, just simply provide a power source there and use the tools I already have. Send in a ballot buying box, a large jumbo. It's about $90 to $100. So I can pack a lot of items inside that box and that's way cheaper than buying even a step down transformer in the philippines those things are expensive and they tend to burn up they tend to waste a lot of electricity so that's one of the reasons i'm sending this now my system over there with my big solar array and all it is not a 12 volt system it's a higher dc voltage system than this but i have a secondary system our solar well pump runs off a 12 volt DC power source. So I already have a little smaller system there for that. I have two systems. I have a set of panels set up already for that. Charges a huge battery, a huge deep cell uh, solar. It's called a solar battery over there. And I've had that battery for several years and it's worked great. I've never had a problem with it whatsoever. One thing that it has kind of been lacking is a charge controller. In the beginning, I had a small battery and I had a small charge controller. But that charge controller could not handle the power of moving up to more panels and to that bigger battery. So I needed to make a uh, adjustment. I need to make an upgrade there. So I can use that system for more than just running the water pump and filling our tank up on top of our roof. I can connect this inverter right here to it and have the power pool there to where I can run other things as well. So it's a nice little redundant system. So here is this Renogy 40 amp MPPT charge controller. And they have these in a variety of sizes. I think it tells on the front of it uh, somewhere there. I saw that they, oh, right here on the book. And it comes in a variety of sizes. You can get a 20 amp, a 30 amp, and a 40 amp in this series right here. This has had really good ratings out there on it. Um, another company actually builds this unit. Renogy doesn't actually build it. It's a rebrand. I can't remember the name of that company right now. I'm sure one quick Google search will tell you. But either name, the Renogy name or the original manufacturer, either one, they have got really great reviews on them. Now, this is not an inverter. This is only a charge controller only for controlling the power coming from your solar panels 
that go into your batteries. So don't don't get confused when I'm showing this. This is not like even though it's big and a huge heat sink and all that on it, it is not an inverter. It is only a charge controller, just as it says. This is an inverter. Of course, like the units I have overseas and the unit that I have here, they are a hybrid. You know, it's all built one big box. Everything is built together. Now, something I want to point out that's unique on this unit right here is that it is a 12 volt or 24 volt charge controller, either one. And as you'll see here in technical specifications, it's a 12, 24, and it automatically recognizes it. It automatically switches. There's nothing you have to do in there on that. So that's a pretty neat little thing about this unit as well. So if you started out with a little 12 volt system, you're like, man, I want something a little better and I want to move up to a 24. You don't have to replace this. It's still good. It's still good for you. Now, of course, I wouldn't be able to use this inverter here anymore if I moved it up to 24 volt because this is only a 12 volt system here. Auto detects 12 or 24. Uh, high tacking efficiency of 99%. Your peak conversion efficiency. You know, you see here it just goes on and on and on. Has a lot of programmable perimeters on it. Those are all very good things. So it has charging data with storage up to one year. So if you want to go back and look over how your charging has went through cycles over the past year, you got that. And another thing is it says it charges over discharged lithium iron phosphate batteries. So they do have um, an algorithm built in already for that as well. So that's pretty good to know. Now, moving to the next thing. For my big solar array over there, I needed a PV combiner box. You know, this is going to be your solar panels. This is a combiner box. So that you can put your different strings of panels together into this right here. You can run a series in parallel or you can run a series with parallel within it. And that's what I'm doing. So... I, and those are called strings, and I'll have different strings connected to these. So what's happened is, so what's happened is I had some connectors like this right here, these kind of like they call them Y branches, whatever, three in the one. I had some of these, and I was just using them temporary until I got a combiner box. And there's enough power coming in those panels that you're, you know, you're only strong as your weakest link. And so when you're bringing all that power in and another group and another group and those groups go in, well then, or strings, I'm sorry, strings, well then you're going to start producing a lot of power, a lot of amps, and it was getting one of those hot and trying to melt it. I knew that. I had been looking for a combiner box in the Philippines. It's just there on my particular island, I couldn't find a lot of choices. I did see some. I did go to some solar shops, but either they were extremely pricey, and I wasn't going to spend that kind of money. There were some good ones there, but they were extremely pricey. Or, there were some really lousy ones. And, of course, I looked on Lazada there in the Philippines as well, and I did not trust anything on there at all. You don't know when you're going to get it, if you're going to get it, or what they send you is what's in the picture. So once again, I opted to wait till we were back here in the U.S. And I got one of these. This is the same box that I have here for my house right here that I'm in now. So let's look at it here from the outside. This brand is Echo Worthy PV Combiner Box. So first of all, you see it's key lock. And that's a nice feature of it. You can take the key out and you can snap this in and protect from moisture in there and that's pretty important over there where the salt is with us and it has it locked then you open it up here one of the things I like right off the bat it has some weather stripping in there it's not a hundred percent sealed but hey something's better than nothing another thing I noticed here is this flange coming around see if I can get to it it's kind of uh, guttered like you see it's not just um, you know just a flat piece sticking up or anything they guttered it around so that the water does not drip to the inside and here to the electrical. So that was very good, good engineering on them that part. Then as you see, it is pre-wired. That's another thing I love about it. 
it is already pre-wired. When you get it, here it is, it's done. And I like that a lot. So as you see here now, as you're looking, you've got these different sets here, and each set has a breaker. It's actually more of a fuse. So if I can pull one out here, and I'll show you. It has a fuse inside, see? And one thing I do need to do is get some more of these fuses right now and get them here before we leave so that I have replacement fuses. That's one thing it did not come with was replacement fuses and I need to locate these ASAP and have replacements. You never know what could happen and you can end up with a whole set of your uh, panels down one of your strings if you got a fuse blown out you know what if you have more than one then of course you have a breaker and you have like a surge protection in it as well um like an arrestor it's kind of funny because um i call it an arrestor you know like a lightning arrestor but it's kind of funny in their wording in here they call it an anti-thunder protection <laughs> anti-thunder protection right there so uh I think that's kind of funny sometimes the different words people use for the same meaning. And then that's all your power in going through here through fuses, through breakers, and through your anti thunder. <laughs> and then you have the DC output, which you see is made for a large gauge wire coming out. And this will be one going down to your charge controller and your inverter, um, hybrid, whatever type you have. Mine's a hybrid, so it's all built in one. So this is going to be a wonderful upgrade to my system. It's a very much needed upgrade. And I should have already had it on there. Just really be honest. I should have already had it on there. Now this was not expensive. This thing here, I ordered it in. I think it was only like $135 for it. I mean, how can you beat that? The box, all the fuses and the breakers and the anti-thunder spark arrestor and pre-wired and sealed everything i think it's one heck of a deal this is probably one of the better investments right here thank you for watching this video today about the renergy mppt solar charge controller the switchable between 12 and 24 volt as well on the echo worthy pv combiner box i hope these products might be something to help you out I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I don't get any kind of kickbacks. There won't be no links. You'll have to find these products on your own. I will tell you that the Echo Worthy, they make more than one size box. So if you don't need one that big, they do have smaller ones. If you need something bigger, they make that as well. So check that out. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope that maybe it'll inspire you to try to build your own system.